back in 2009, Vivo was barely known to this planet. It was founded in Donggong, Guangdong, China. But the question is, how they came out of the blue and managed to compete with some other flagship smartphone? Barely 4 years after the release of their first smartphone, how they managed to compete with larger smartphone companies like LG's, Samsung's OnePlus and of course Apple. This may be the second most loved phone after the OnePlus since they listened to their customer they deliver to them in the next launch. The brand uses Hi-Fi chips to give an uninterrupted out of sounds in its smartphone. Software developed by the company includes the Vivo App Store, iManager and proprietary Android-based operating system. FunTouch OS People love this OS. We will have a look at what and how FunTouch OS work a little later. As you may know, Vivo is a Chinese technology company that designs, develops, manufactures smartphones, manufactures accessories, software and even online services. In 2009, Vivo released the first X1 model. The X1 was the first Vivo phone to use the Hi-Fi chips developed by American semiconductor company named Cirrus Logic. When Vivo released his first flashy phone back in 2012 and named him X1 model. Vivo March line up this in 2013 by releasing the world's first 2K resolution screen phone, the X-Play 3S, which gained a lot of attention in customer eyes and we following the graphic. The phone was stood strongly in the perspective with decent amount of a specification. Phone says they will have a true HD display, dual core processor, following graphic of Power VR SGX540. Do they? Of course they did. And we can say as this is their vast turning point into the mobile market. Following which other popular phones in the Vivo lineup include X5 Pro, the X5 Max and the x Shard in the same year. So want to know more about how they crack the market? Let's break down the things. I'm Amir here and you're watching Hoda. And guys, before starting, consider subscribing to my channel so that you don't mess up any inside story of every text. Brand growth of the Vivo comes from nowhere. Registered for the first time in 2009 and bearing the witness of their success smartphone in late 2013 and 14, they plan to begin its international expansion in 2014 when they enter the Thai market. Vivo has since become the registered in over 100 countries around the world. Vast majority Vivo family quickly followed this up by launching in India and few other countries which took their brand by storm. This storm came when their smartphone featured the camera, ultimate photography with cutting edge technology. People definitely love taking photos with the mid-range price tags, rampage begins. Important part of their journey also comes from the marketing strategies. India is their main target and cricket is the heart of Indian peoples. In October 2016, Vivo became the title sponsor of the Indian Premier League under a two-year deal starting in the 2016 and in July, the deal was extended to 2022. They are playing cricket inside out, first to run, then hit for the sixth run. In June 2017, Vivo reached a sponsorship deal with the FIFA to become the official smartphone brand of 2018 and 2022 World Cup FIFA. The company also became the title sponsor of India's Pro Kabuli later by. Vivo currently has sponsorship deal with the US National Basketball Association in China. Lastly, Vivo struck a deal with Marvel Studios, appearing in Captain America Civil War as both Captain America and Iron Man's phone in hand. Holy moly. Maybe they are heading towards me for the next sponsorship. Do they? Maybe. Professionalism is about passion, dedication to innovation, and ensuring every detail is perfect. This is what Vivo is doing. And let's talk about the quick bit of Funtouch OS which we described earlier. Funtouch OS is an Android skin. It is a fork of Google's operating system. The major difference between the Google's Android and Vivo Funtouch OS is just the latter includes some feature unavailable in the Google Android. Such features include customizable gesture, communication dryer with bottom to the top swipe, 
a security center, lock screen, resize option for long screen, short screen, eye protection changing to a warmer color temperature and others. Funtouch OS in some respect looks similar to the Apple OS. Now let's talk about what's cooking in their recent leak peak update of X-Play 7. We are pretty excited as how things change the future of mobile phones. We have got one here. Vivo X Play 7 is in a new entrant on the rumor mill as the device has popped up 6 months earlier back. A few months back a flagship popped up again in a new leak and now we have been gifted with yet another leak renders and a spec of the device which popped up on the Vivo. The design and display in this recent render is consistent with that of one that screen seen back in September last year. Apart from the render, the leaked photos which looks like the screenshot of the PowerPoint presentation document also contains the expected specification of the X-Play 7. One aspect which stood out very obviously is 10GB of RAM. The device is listed to pack. If it's true, it would make the X-Play 7 the first commercial life smartphone to pack such RAM size. The highest we have seen one commercial smartphone till date is 6GB of RAM. The 10 gigabytes of RAM would be on two storage variant of 256 and 512 gigabytes respectively. We are yet to see a smartphone chip with 512 gigabytes of capacity. Presently, it is only Samsung that has started mass producing of 512 gigabytes flash RAM. But then, this looks too good and too expensive to be true. The device is also expected to pack the latest Snapdragon 845 processor which is the most powerful processor made by Qualcomm presently. The device also boasts of a number of high premium features like 4K display panel and talking about the display, the device would pack a full screen design display with ultra thin bezels. The device is listed to have 92.9% screen ratio. Another spectacular feature that we are being told to expect on the Vivo x 7 is an in-display fingerprint sensor which just made its debut on the Vivo X20 Plus in-display fingerprint version. Further, the device is quieted to pack a dual-cam camera setup at the rear which would have a 4K lossless zoom as well as a face unlock 2.0 version. We can't say when the X-Play 7 will be unveiled and these details can at best be treated as a concept imagined by the leaker. There is nothing to show that Vivo would launch the successor to the X-Play 6 with such high-end never seen before specs lineup so we advise you to take this with a pinch of salt hey 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 my friend comment down below if you have something to suggest or a new leak about hit like like button if you like this video thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one